Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the bias thermostat on your dryer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need to access the back of the dryer. So the very first thing we need to do is to disconnect the power. So you either pull the dryer far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. Now once we've done that, we'll pull the dryer enough You'll probably need to disconnect the venting system, so get that out of the way, and then we can start the repair. Now that we have access to the back of the dryer, we're going to remove this back panel. Just simply remove all of the screws. These are typically a quarter inch hex head screw. Then we'll just set that back panel aside. Now with the back panel out of the way, our next step will be to remove the wires that are attached to that thermostat. Just simply pull them all off. And just inspect those, make sure there's no signs of any overheating or arcing or corrosion. And if so, you'll need to replace those terminal ends. And if you have difficulty pulling them off, use your needle nose pliers. Be sure to grip the connector and not the wire. Then we'll remove the retaining screw for that thermostat. Tilt that out of the opening, discard the old one. We're simply going to tuck the new one into place. Line it up so the slot lines up over top of that screw hole. Then we'll reconnect those wires. Make sure they go on nice and tight. If they're at all loose, we'll use our needle nose pliers and just crimp them a little bit and put them back on. It's important that they make a good tight connection. And now we're ready to put the back panel on. Now we're installing that back panel. We're first of all, we're gonna sit it on the outlet duct. can tuck that slot in underneath the screw in the center. We'll just put a couple of screws in first and we make sure that we have all the holes are lined up. So we'll do the four corners. Yeah, make sure we tighten all of those. Then we'll put the last two in at the top. And now we're ready to push the dryer back into place. We're now ready to reconnect our vent, push the dryer back into place, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.